going to be some changes made. Mechano, the cat of tomorrow. No feeding, no fussing, no fur. Clean, efficient, dependable. Thomas! Oh, Thomas! Come in here and see what I've got. Thomas, meet Mechano. Mr. Mechano here is taking your job. <laughs> Are you through laughing, Tom? Then watch this. <laughs> is it okay if I laugh now, Tom? <laughs> That's how it is, Tom. Progress. The machine age and stuff like that. <laughs> but don't worry. Maybe you can find an old-fashioned house. <laughs> <laughs> That's my mechanic. <laughs> Isn't he cute? So how did we go from our failed Tomcat to the successful Speedy Freddy? We brainstormed to create a robot that is stable, sleek and adaptable to cross the hurdles in the obstacle course. Design of the wheels we attempted including semicircle wheels that would reduce the weight of the robot and allow equal distribution of mass across the robot body. But soon we realized that achieving this would be too demanding as if the wheels were not in sync, the alternating circular motion will not be successful. Thus we returned to the typical structure of circular wheels with a diameter of 9.3 cm. When selecting the materials of the wheels, we anticipated that single circular cardboard cutouts would be too thin to move on the obstacle course as this will have significant torque and not enough frictional force that transfers to the ground which would cause the wheels to slip. Thus, we planned on stacking four circular identical cardboard cutouts together to make one wheel. Later, this was secured with black checkered material that provided good grip and traction. Designing of the launcher the previous launcher design, whose working resembled a slingshot cannon, was unsuccessful because the servo motor that was used as the pivot could not withstand the tangential pressures from the rubber band that was pulled by it. This difficulty was overcome by a new catapult design that utilized parabolic motion. This was easier to implement due to the positioning of the servo. A ramp was also used at the end of the cup-shaped locking board to easily transfer the ball over the wall. Robot Body Majority of the robot body was made out of cardboard, which provided certain advantages. Due to its flexible nature, prototyping and performing iterations became fairly easy. Cardboard with the help of ice cream sticks upheld the structural integrity of our robot and allowed us to cut down unnecessary mass easily. For the robot body, we created gaps for greater range of motion for the wheels. Challenges While faulty components are just unfortunate coincidences, the process of discovering them actually strengthened our knowledge on the design of the system, as we had to check and recheck every system multiple times before being able to diagnose the fault. Reflections Through the process of making the robot, we learned that designers should not feel afraid to majorly alter the designs to achieve a greater goal. This is because design is not just about pre-researched conscious decisions, but a process of testing and iteration. This lesson was especially heartfelt as producing a better design required all our previous efforts to be sacrificed. Conclusion This module has enhanced our knowledge on fundamental theories of engineering design and prototyping, by providing the necessary skills of CAD modeling, Arduino-based electronics, and instinctive prototyping which will go a long way in our future career prospects. Working with team members who have different domains of expertise made us benefit from the synergy and learn valuable soft skills like problem solving, critical thinking, adaptability, and of course, teamwork.